we import PyTorch. Then we print the PyTorch version that we are using. We are using PyTorch 0.2.0 underscore 4. For this video, we're going to create a PyTorch tensor using the PyTorch RAND functionality. It's going to be 2 by 3 by 4. We're going to multiply the result by 100, and then we're going to cast the PyTorch tensor to an int. Finally, we're going to assign that result to the random underscore tensor underscore x Python variable. We can then print the tensor to see what we created. And we see that it is a 2 by 3 by 4 tensor of size 2 by 3 by 4. When we print it, we see that the last line tells us the size of the tensor we created. However, if we wanted to get the size programmatically, we can use the dot size open parentheses close parentheses PyTorch functionality. Here you can see random underscore tensor underscore x dot size. When we run it, we get a torch size object, two, three, four. We can check the type of object that it returns. So type, open parentheses, our random tensor x dot size, close parentheses, we see that it is the class torch dot size. To get the actual integers from the size object, we can use Python's list functionality. We pass our random tensor x variable to the list functionality. And then we assign that to the Python variable random tensor size list. We can then print the random tensor size list. And we can see that it is a Python list. That's 2, 3, 4. We can check the type of object that running our random tensor x variable through the list functionality returns. And we see that it is indeed a list. And lastly, we can check the type of the first element of the list. Remembering that Python is zero-based index programming language, we see that it is an int. So the list that we returned here is integer 2, integer 3, integer 4. And that is how you can get the PyTorch tensor shape as a PyTorch size object and as a list of integers.